first off, let me just take a moment and say, oh my gosh, for like the past six, seven years, I've been using the Dove deodorant spray. My mom put me on, shout out to my moms, and I've been using it ever since. But when I travel, especially when I only travel to carry on, I can't use it because it's like liquid and there's like liquid size for TSA, blah, blah. So then when I came to Dallas, I had to go get different deodorant. And I got this, you guys. Look at this. To the old YouTuber style. I got this and I am in love. You guys, I'm, I might just go back to, it just, oh my gosh. It smells literally just like Irish Spring does, Irish Spring, but it's so fresh. Guys, stay clean, stay clean. What we're really here for today. So, I'm gonna address a question that I often get so many times, especially when I'm on tours, uh, when I give tours at Georgetown as a black person. Sorry. I get this question all the time. So why did you choose to go to PWI as opposed to going to HBCU? I'm always just like, I mean, I'm on my Yvonne, I'm on my, my, my um, all my Molly stuff from Instagram. I mean, guys, I went to PWI. The question is so, it's like such an easy answer. I went to Georgetown, a PWI, as opposed to an HBCU because I knew that Georgetown would give me the resources and access that I needed. It's not HBCU's fault that they're like a lot of them are underfunded, but in terms of financial aid, Georgetown came through for me way wider than any HBCU that I got something into, which by the way would have been Spelman. And so, Georgetown was that. And also it really depends on the kind of college experience you wanna have. If you're someone who wants that black and rich college experience and you're all for HBCU, do you. I'm not hating, no one's hating, no one cares, do you. I on the other hand didn't really think about like one in that HBCU experience. I did visit Howard and actually did go on Spelman's campus and for me, I when I visited Howard, I was totally like, I would actually go to the school. Like, this ish is dope. But then I was like applying to schools, which I did apply to Howard as well too. Applying to schools, I got to Georgetown. The Georgetown financial aid was just like, then I was like, hmm. And then I ended up there. So really, it depends on the experience you want. And then also like, let's be realistic. PWIs have more money to offer, you know, it's given our unfortunate history with our colonizers and everything that goes on, black people are less underfunded, under resources, all that things. But I wish HBCUs would be more funded because then I feel like more black people would attend HBCUs, especially when they get um, financial aid packages that meet their needs. So yeah, it's really simple. I went to Georgetown, a PWI as opposed to HBCU because I wanted, because my PWI provided me with the financial resources that I needed. And then it also just had different things that I was particularly interested in. Like a lot of PWIs just have a lot to offer because they are PWIs. It's like the white people know what they are doing and black people know what they're doing too, but no one ever gives them the spaces or val like spaces or valleys to do what they're doing and know what to do. But the white people got the spaces, resources, and all that kind of stuff. And it's you just gotta do what you gotta do. But if you're all short on going to HBCU, if you're all like power to HBCUs that I want that black experience, do you boo? I'm a hundred percent here for you. But then if you're also a black person and you want to go to PWI because of specific programs or because you know that you're going to get the money you want for financial aid, yada yada yada, you do you too. Because I did me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. Help me out. I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers at the end of the summer. Come on, you guys always commenting. Glad to put up more videos, do daily vlogs, yada, yada, yada. But like, I would love to do that for you. But I mean, if you guys are not watching a the video, then like, why would I put it up? You know? I mean, 75% of me is gonna put it up anyway, but the other 25 looks at the analytics and I'm just like, y'all words just ain't matching up. You wanna see it, but you ain't watching, you know what I mean?
it was not good bye guys <laughs> and also oh my gosh i just love this setting like i just love having these clean nice well-made beds in the background and this really good lighting let's look at the video really good lighting with this awesome view i like recording from here Hopefully, in the next few years, I will be traveling and vlog abroad and doing massive things. Yeah. <laughs>